All right, so does AI content really work for creating content? Or is this going to be easily detectable by Google? Well, it's interesting because Word AI just did a breakdown of all the major tools that can create AI. And there's some really great tools on the market um, that can help speed up your research, speed up your workflow, all these types of things. Um, and one of the great places to look for these is um, AppSumo. AppSumo has a great marketplace and they often have AI content on there. Um, so I'll put a link there. Um, you should just search for, for AI content. Um, there's some crazy things going on. But I want to give you this breakdown because some of these tools are actually worth investing in as well. Um, so basically, the premise of this is can you make AI-generated text pass the AI content detectors, right? Because you know, as soon as one thing pops up, um, then there's going to be uh, you know something to combat that, right? So they have brute force attacks and they have you know bot protectors and all these kind of things. So they actually did a very in-depth study, and I'm going to link this in the description if you want to take a better look at it. But they looked at AI generated content against um, you know some different topics using the most popular AI writers, including. ChatGPT, Jasper AI, Article Forge, Copy AI, and Red Sonic. And they ran the content through Word AI's avoid AI detection feature, which is pretty interesting, right? Um, because if you can avoid being detected as AI, that makes that content infinitely more valuable than something that can be, you know, algorithmed out. Uh, because obviously Google want will want to. Uh, you know, not show AI content. They want to show high quality content. So they're going to be working on the best algorithms to filter that out. Okay. So they ran all the content through the popular AI content detectors, including originality.ai, open AI, hugging face detector, which is just a cute name and writer AI detector. And this is the content. Okay. Before using word AI's content detection. So some of it got, uh, got passed. Uh, a lot of it failed to see these uh, th these red here, but after they ran it through uh, Word AI's avoid AI detection, um, then they all passed. Okay, so the premise is Word AI is something that you should definitely take a look at. Um, but what you're going to learn in this video is which of these AIs is a little bit better than the other ones um, for. Uh, uh, for creating content with, because obviously you don't want the content to uh, be identified as AI generated text. Okay. Um, and it should be noted here that not even um, high quality, all, all human written content will pass the AI detectors 100% of the time. Okay. So that's a little bit uh, scary as well. Um, but you can certainly make it make it better, right? So they ran, uh, you know, topics from, you know, just different types of things like the best beaches in Florida to other things that are, you know, more um, academic, let's say, why George Orwell is an incredibly influential author, okay? And so here are these, here are these things. So they, they uh, explain how they, how they uh, you know, settings, because these uh, different tools have different settings. And this one on Article Forge, um, and so they had the, uh, they ran it through and it was detected as AI generated content in most tools. Okay. But after putting it through Word AI, um, then it passed as human written. Okay. Um, Jasper did better than a lot of the other ones. So Jasper pro content performed better than average among AI writers, but it was still detected as AI in some cases. ChatGPT, hopefully you're familiar with this. Everyone's familiar with, with ChatGPT. Um, so it was easily detected as AI generated. And I think that's pretty obvious because from using ChatGPT, you know, it's good at, at summarizing things, but it really, you know, the content that, that it puts out is fairly formulaic and, you know, it just kind of doesn't have like a, a, a heart or a soul. Um, it just kind of seems like, like AI. So copy AI, um, they use the blog post wizard and freestyle, and um, it it almost passed uh, some of the uh, content detectors. Um, so that's uh, good as well. Write Sonic um, had the lowest probability of being you know human written compared with AI writers. Uh, so you know that's something to uh, to keep in mind. Originality AI 
Um, so they had some uh, some key takeaways here. And I love this hugging face. Uh, so this this has actually been uh, built to detect uh, OpenAI to detect GPT-2 content, but now it's being used to detect, um, you know, not only GPT-2, but also GPT-3. So overall, this is a really interesting uh, summary of some of the tools. And I, I like, I think that, that the AI content, um, it can create so many different things. Um, and, I'll put a link to some of these different tools. Also, definitely check out uh, the link to AppSumo. Um, if there are AI content tools, I'll try to update the description with what's available right now um, because they can certainly save you a lot of time. But the one thing to keep in mind when using AI generated content, particularly if you're using it on, let's say, a blog or something that that I you know is important to rank. Um, you know, keep in mind, you, you don't just want to necessarily pull it right from the AI and paste it, copy and paste it, unless you're using Word AI and you're using their avoid AI detection tool. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, uh, leave me a comment and let me know what you thought about it. And other than that, um, you know, check out the description. And if you want more great videos on AI, subscribe and keep it locked in.